2004 Alfa Romeo 156 Dirty Diesel It's been a while since we've had a good old fashioned brake job on the channel. It seems this is a loan car at the moment, um, for obvious reasons. My main two car it is, who's doing the repairs on my other two cars, so it's, uh, if you get the chance, chuck some brake pads in the back. They're all there ready to go. And the genuine alpha ones. Well, I never. So, I managed to get off work a little bit earlier today, and uh, I thought I'd bring you along and uh, we'll put some brake pads in the back of this shed. Um, and we'll have a chat while we're on the way and a cup of tea. Cheers. <sighs> Um, the tools I'm using, from memory, I might have to go and get some more in a minute. Um, 13 mil there, and a slimline 17 for the slider pin. Pretty easy, to be fair. But, um, yeah, it's been nice. Um, nice as the support that everybody's been showing lately. Are the um, with the situation of what it's like owning um, an Alfa Romeo, or should I say, two Alfa Romeos, because, um, yeah, it's not been good the last couple of months, and um, I'm just fortunate enough to be in a position where we can um, get these major disasters sorted. Um, like I say, the 166, that... Well, it'll be, uh, that'll be the first one to be fixed. Um, it's actually work in progress at the minute. It's on the ramp. I believe the old engine is out of it. Uh, I'm going to have a look at uh, next weekend, see what's going on with it. Um, and I'm trying to, at least when it's quiet, up. So I'm not giving the details away where the cars are because it's uh, a bit of a specialist. It's a specialist and they're good friends of mine and they uh, there's some nice cars and stuff up there, so but I will try and do a video on the amount of damage that's um, happened on the inside of the 90s engine. It, uh, and then a screwdriver, we'll be right back. We're in the raw, no editing on this one, doesn't matter. So yeah, the uh, Alpha 90's engine is, um, well, it's original engine, which was rebuilt three years ago, um, is not being rebuilt, it's having another engine, still V6, but I'm not going to give any details away on that front yet, because it's going to be quite special. Cost me an arm and a leg. I'm not, uh, I'm not bu <laughs> building that up either or bigging it up. Um, I've never spent this much on a car in my life, so it needs to be good when it's finished. Just see, he's done well. <laughs> it's a pain in the arse, this is. Let's oh. have this off a bit. And make sure you check your boot. They're all okay. I'll have a look at them in a minute. Just push that over there out of the way. Oh, 
well, we've got what looks to be some uh, night pad today. Lucas pad in an alpha. Really? We've got some brush jacking out in here. Yep. This is why you should always keep an eye on your brakes and never let them wear all the way out because you have problems like this rust jacking where the pad and the backing material drop straight to pieces. Wicked. I'll lose them. Struggling for tools at a bit. I've left my toolbox at work. Um, so we're running on basic tools at the minute. So yeah, it's um, going to be a bit of a uh, longer drawn out process with the 90, but it is being fixed. It's not being written off and thrown away or having a different engine put in it because etc etc um these things are sent to try us and uh, wow it's seized well wow, that is mm. wow Bending me fucking screwdriver. Let's go and get Derek. Let's try again. Well, they're genuine pads as well. You gotta be joking there, yeah? You can see the pads coming away from the backing plate. Well, wow. okay. fair enough. We have got some hardware, which you should change your hardware as often as you can on your brakes because it does actually wear with the brakes and I never tend to put lubricant in these parts of the brakes put it underneath because these are stainless steel and in effect if you have a look these don't actually rust you see so yeah when you apply your you caliper lubricant, it, you put it underneath and then fit your hardware on top. And a uh, quick gander of them, they feel okay actually. Nicely lubricated, I'm not going to bother with those. Clean up. It's one of my best mates' cars, but we've still got to treat it like a customer's car. Make sure everything's done correct. New belts as well. Where to go, General Matt? I need to get off my knee. 
some really old and arthritic now. Years of brand racing and stock car building and car. Oh. There we go. Anyway. Oh, where are we? Still using the old um, Permatex brake parts cleaner. Doing well. After an order, order another tub soon. I'm impressed with it. I've lost the lid, so it's gone a bit weird. Never mind. Probably go that around there. I will actually say I learnt this brake method with the uh, with the grease, uh, the caliper grease from a, another YouTube channel, one of my favourite YouTube channels in the States called South Main Auto Repair. If you've never checked it out, have a look. Pretty good channel and uh, awesome to watch, very funny. No language, which is um, always a plus. And um, the knowledge that that guy's got is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Slide those on there, like so. And you can make sure, I'll put these on, you put them on correctly because they do actually have some little tabs. So put little tabs here that you need to push around. Which way are we going? That way. Got the little tabs that you need to push around that secure it in place because if you don't put it on square, I'll demonstrate it for you, you'll end up with a and that is enough to drive a grown man insane. You don't want that. Slide that one up there. That one in there. Like so. And the shelf. Let's push it device. Make sure that. Yeah, that's what I want. Make sure it doesn't slide over and do that. I'll bring it over. That's better. That's better. Perfect. Now that's in. I shall bring the caliper over. Is this tool going to be good enough? Oh, I've got to change it. Let's have a look. Is it going to fit? One way to find out, Jeff. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I've got here. That's a really old set, this is, and I have to keep it in oil to stop it from going um, rusty. I neglected to bring a cloth, but never mind. Fit. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that should do. I might um, have a look if there's enough interest. Um, it's been a while since we've had a question and answer session, hasn't it? So. If you've got any questions for me, oh, that's stiff. Oh, okay. I think that caliper's scrap. Oh dear. Wow. That ain't good. Straighten that back out in a minute. That does not feel good, folks. Damn, I 
for a minute, I tell you. Can't live and we can't live without them. <sighs> right, how am I going to do this? Mm -mm -mm, I think. Let's give it another whirl. If not, I'll just. Uh, cut the video short. Oh, it's going to waffle that boat up a treat. Okay. That does not look very good in there. Let's give that a whirl. Give it about two seconds to soak. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> That's stiff. That's pretty... Ah, she's freed off now. I'm not surprised with the amount of miles that this has done. That looks still to be one of the original calipers. It has had one over the other side. Um, but we're working in the raw, so... Doesn't matter. Can't you sod? Are you going to play me about as well? Wow, that's gone tight. Shouldn't be doing that. Oh, disaster.